Welcome to JSA TV, the newsroom for tech and telecom professionals. I'm Jamie Scott Okataya of JSA, reporting to you live here at the Chorus Communications Lounge at Channel Partners Evolution. And I am with Mr. Warren Rayburn, the CRO and EVP of Telesystem. Warren, welcome to JSA TV. Good morning. Thank you for having me. It's an honor, and as a matter of fact, a good friend of mine introduced you to me just moments ago, and the word integrity was mentioned, so I'm really quite honored to have you here, Warren, on the JSA TV hot seat, if you will. Um, and you've been uh, in the news of, of late, Channel Vision's Channel Program of the Year for 2018 uh, recognition. Congratulations on that. Thank you very much. So tell us, what makes your Channel Partner Program so unique and notable? Well, thank you. Um, you know, you touched on the word integrity. I think it's a, a matter of uh, the trust and confidence that's been developed historically uh, with our partners and the relationships that we've engineered over the course of our existence. Uh, we've been in business since 1999. Uh, Chorus Communications is one of our longest tenured partners. Um, so, you know, again, it comes back to, for us, standing by what we sell. Uh, being accountable for what we sell, engineering and delivering on those, uh, you know, those solutions. Uh, ultimately, you know, again, for our program and the differentiators therein, you know, it comes back to agility, accountability, uh, the design components, the consultative element of who we are. Uh, we're creative in the offerings to our partners as well as it pertains to developing unique solutions, developing unique programs. Uh, we're willing to get creative. We want to help people, you know, succeed. We want to help people develop their businesses, grow their business alongside ours and if we're fortunate enough to win the opportunities presented uh, we want to make sure that you know we're building a book of business together our average subscriber uh, length of relationship is nine years in duration so that's something that our partners can count on is residual income over a, a significant period of time our spiffs are competitive um, but again we want to differentiate ourselves in the, in the creativity that we display and ultimately being accountable for what we sell and that's very true to what I'm reading and hearing on the Channel Partners Evolution floor, so uh, amazing job. Tell us a little bit about your security play. Yeah, absolutely. And in fact, we have two seminars today uh, that we'll be hosting uh, off the floor in one of our meeting rooms. Uh, but holistically speaking, we have four uh, scrubbing centers across the country. Uh, we partner with Carrero, so we have a robust DDoS solution. Uh, those scrubbing centers are located uh, in Denver, Toledo, Ohio, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, and down in Mississippi. So we have everything being addressed on the DDoS side as it comes into our network. And then we take that situation and that, that solution out to the edge. And that being you know, a managed security play uh, on site with the customer. We also have a cloud-based option for them. And we even have incorporated recently uh, managed Wi-Fi into our offering. And we have two flavors of that also. So again, coming back to that creativ creativity and agility, uh, we're taking that from the core out to the client site. And a lot of news on the expansion front as well. I, I hear there was a ribbon cutting ceremony recently in Denver. Can you tell us more about that? Yeah. So we, uh, it's a very uh, proud moment for all of us. I started with the organization in 2001. Uh, with the ambition to build a, a national model and a national network. So that is the westernmost point currently of our network, um, looking to go well beyond that into 2019 and the future, uh, but uh, very proud. It's a, uh, a third appearance of our meta switch. It's a completely redundant data environment for us as well. So again, getting back to the security and the redundancy and the geographic diversity that we're looking to utilize to uh, reinforce our national presence and our messaging. So much great news. Uh, 2018 certainly a stellar year for you. What's on the horizon for 2019 in Telesystem? Absolutely. So it's it's looking to continue to uh, proliferate on that national stage. You know, as I said, getting beyond Denver, uh, we're looking to create more of a physical presence out there. We're going to expand our channel program with support options in six geographically targeted uh, strategic regions. So um, for us, it's just building on the success of 2018. Uh, it's continuing to offer the services and build upon those uh, that are making an impact in the, uh, in the customer space. Um, you know, so we're, we're very proud of where we're at, but we know we have a lot more work ahead of us. So we're looking forward to the future in a big way. Well, certainly a growth story. Telesystem, a company to watch. Where can our viewers go if they want to learn more? Sure, absolutely. Please visit us at uh, www.telesystem.us. Uh, we have a contact us form there. We'll get you in touch with one of our channel managers at that point. Uh, feel free to reach out to me directly as well via LinkedIn. Uh, Bruce Wirt as well is our VP of uh, channel sales for all of uh, North America, and we'll be happy to help. 
There you have it, telesystem.us. Thank you so much, Warren, for your time and your, your intelligent uh, responses. They were awesome, very informative. And thank you, viewers, for tuning in to JSA TV. Happy networking. Thank you. <laughs>